guys. So my head feels like it's full of cotton wool right now because I have a cold. Ugh. Despite the fact that a lot of today's technology has only been around for at most a few decades, like 30, maybe 20, I don't know. Despite that, we've got to a point where we are just so reliant on it. Quite scary. Is it just me, or or have you noticed it too? There's a lot of examples of us just using technology for everything. Finding where we're going. We have map apps on our phones, or Google Maps on the blooming computer. helpful. I mean, I'd be screwed without that. I have no sense of direction. Note taking. Uh, the amount of people I see in a lecture with their phone or their laptop out instead of a notepad like I do is quite weird. Blah blah blah. Random teaching club. I'm teaching you things. This stuff is important. You will need it for your exam. I am important. Blah blah blah. Listen to me. Checking the time. I don't know many people who still use watches. It's mostly phones now. What's the date today? Oh uh, yeah, okay, okay. Sorry to tell you the time, it is 12 o'clock. Of course, the obvious thing is communication, email, Facebook, text, phoning. Everything is so easy to just talk to somebody now. Hey, do you want to hang out? Cool. See you down there. General distraction, the amount of little free to play apps and all that sort of shit on phones. And I personally, I can't sit and do much without some kind of music. I can't, I can't do silence. I think that's most teenagers, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Now, this obsession and reliance on technology does come with quite a lot of drawbacks. Without my phone, I don't know where I am, I don't know what time it is, I don't know what day it is, I'm just sort of stuck in this sort of limbo of I have no clue where I am or what I'm doing with my life. I'm supposed to find where I am. I don't know where I am. Oh my god, I don't have a phone. I don't have a map. Oh, I'm gonna get lost! What time is it? Daytime? the people who use their phones for note-taking in a lecture are not really using it for note-taking. Half the time they are on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, you name it. Blah blah blah, random teaching club, I'm teaching you things, this stuff is important, you will need it for your exam, I am important, blah blah blah, listen to me, listen to my voice, blah blah blah, thank you for making notes, blah blah blah, are you getting all this down? Good. There's the obvious argument of there's a less face-to-face -face contact and if you don't have a phone or Facebook or something you're basically a hermit. that you're using, like it's slow, or there's a pixel that's busted, or there's a bug stuck in your screen. 
It gets very annoying very quickly. Why do you insist on ruining my life? Bastard. Yes, there is an insect stuck in my screen. It got there last summer. And it died there. And it's still there. But I am not here to diss technology. I love technology. <laughs> Seriously, without technology, I don't know what I'd do. I would just... Well, I'd probably be a bit like this. And there's nothing wrong with needing and using technology. It's a part of our everyday lives now. It's completely normal. But maybe one day step away from the screen for an hour or two. <laughs> On second thought, just keep doing what you're doing. That's it for this week, guys. See ya! Hey, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff from me. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go and sleep now because God, I feel crap. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what the words, Amy, how do you work? I'm too old for this. <laughs>